well friends welcome to uh, my channel today i'm going to speak with regards to present indefinite tense what is present indefinite tense well uh, there are some formulas or formula you are going to use for making sentences relevant to present indefinite tense uh, the formula as are uh, subject uh, main verb 1 plus object first uh, second subject plus am2 uh, or is2 or are2 plus main verb 1 plus object uh, here am2 uh, or is2 or are2 denote uh, infinitive verb but third formula you can make the structure of present indefinite or simple present tense uh, subject plus has uh, or have or plus object and uh, next is subject plus has to or have to a uh, plus object and uh, the last uh, uh, formula that you can construct present indefinite tense with gerund or participle plus uh, verb plus object let us make sentences uh, with the first uh, formula subject plus uh, main verb 1 uh, plus object well uh, to make uh, sentences uh, relevant to present indefinite tense uh, subject here denotes as noun or pronoun and verb in the first form there are uh, five uh, forms of main verb main bar 1 main bar 2 main bar 3 main bar 4 main bar 5 main bar 1 it uh, works uh, for uh, infinitive form or uh, you know present form uh, well uh, second form of bar is uh, called past form uh, when you use in the Uh, past habit of your action third form is called um, past participle when action is done uh, that to denote uh, we use uh, third form of main bar or else we do use uh, for passive voice uh, main bar 3 uh, main bar 4 is uh, all about uh, gerund and participle form that is called main verb 1 plus ing right and uh, last uh, one is called main verb 1 plus s or es that is called singular verb well to construct the first formula we have to understand that uh, subject that is uh, he she it uh, this anything may be and the second or you take the verb if singular verbs are with the singular subject and plural uh, verbs are with the plural subject here plural uh, verb is main verb 1 uh, now take a singular subject like uh, he uh, well uh, she eat to he and uh, verb will be goes and the object goes to the school every day see as in the similar way that um, it helps us if you want to take an adverb you have to put adverb between the uh, subject and main verb he never goes to the school or uh it never helps us uh, well uh, in present indefinite tense when you use verb that uh, in plural form they come here uh, for many days it is a wrong sentence you can't make duration with main verb uh, when verb is uh, static or verb is uh, denotes habit well a uh, second formula you know, when we say about the subject uh, plus m2 or is2 or r2 
uh, here m2 is to or r2 denote uh, infinity bar but i mean after these bars you have to use only main bar one form and you can use a duration for five years six years since five day since morning uh, since yesterday like that i am to do this work uh, for two days i she is to come here to meet me and they are to find it when uh, what to you start uh, one in present indefinite tense a subject plus has uh, or have plus object subject uh, so we uh, have some money right the we should be followed by plural uh, possessive verb have and uh, singular possessive verb is called has she has uh, much sugar uh, if you want to make negative sentences of uh, this uh, form then she does not have any sugar not much sugar uh, well to denote that negative sense of uh, plural form or possessive verb Uh, we do not have any cause for it well fourth formula that is called uh, subject plus has to or have to plus object that is called uh, infinitive possessive has to or have to uh, she has to go there well we have to come here they have to do it if you want to turn to negative you have to take emphatic verbs like do not or doesn't he doesn't do it uh, we do not uh, call him right we do not meet him like that uh, well using gerund gerund is all about main verb one plus ing form and it becomes noun as a subject this called verbal noun well seeing is a uh, believing right uh, walking is good for health here walk comes from uh, well walking comes from walk uh, uh, seeing comes from see verb right targeting someone is not uh, good for us uh, targeting someone here targeting defines uh, present uh, participle um, someone defines um, pronoun so like that you have to do thank you very much for the session